So it's been a pleasure being here for the last um, few days. Our conference is running over two days and our, our theme is United in Action. And United in Action means it's we're all here to share our lived experiences and develop collective action towards achieving gender equality in and through the media, which is what our mission is at African Women in the Media. We're trying to improve the, the environment in which African women work when they're working in the media, but also the way in which African women are represented in media content. And so I think coming to Morocco was an, was an opportunity for us to realize that our culture, our country, our locations, our context may be slightly different, but the experiences that we have are shared. The opportunities we have are shared. And so it's an opportunity for us to now work collectively so that we can real, see meaningful change. It's good to have these conversations. It's good to raise awareness because in some contexts, it's the first time that people are speaking openly about gender biases and gender inequality in media. And so really, it's an opportunity for us to now all agree that, okay, we, yes, we have a shared, shared agenda, a shared experience, and that we can also share the actions that we'll take to address them. The experiences that people share in terms of the biases they face as women, whether it's sexual harassment, gender pay gaps, the limited opportunities for leadership, I think those are things that you find across the continent, where it just varies. So, for example, in South Africa, they've managed to translate the national objective of gender equality into the media. So you find that there's almost a 50-50 split in terms of women in media leadership in the country, whereas in other parts of the continent it's not so. Um, also things around gender policies. Gender policies is always something that people say, okay, this is what we need to have. But actually what you find is that there are organizations, there are countries that have gender policies, but nothing is happening. You know, so it's one thing to have the policy, but it's another thing for it to actually lead to change. So I think those are the kind of differences. Um, and I think if, depending on the country you're in, women empowerment is more kind of evident and more spoken, more accepted, and in some countries not so much. So it's just those kind of dynamics. But I think the day-to-day -day experiences of women um, are pretty much the same in the wider context. Sexual harassment might present differently in one context to the other, but it's still sexual harassment. Do you know, we asked that question in our research and everybody said it's everybody's responsibility, right? So there's, there's the importance of having it at legislation level, ju judiciary level. There's the importance of having it internally. But really what needs to change is that mindset is for people to champion the cause, right? So when you know that your director general of your media organization is championing the cause, you know that the culture will then emanate down. So I think there's a, there's a need for changing mindset, there's a need for that championing and that kind of, from the leadership, you know, that it is, it is, this is the culture we want to create in our environment. So that's how the policies then lead into, into rule change. And yes, it helps where there's a national kind of legislative structure as well, right? Because then it's in the law, you know? Um, so I think it's a combination of, of, of all of those factors. But very important is that willingness and the mindset, mindset change.